Hey folks, supposedly I'm live. Uh, there's often a bit of a gap, so I will soft shoe for a bit <clears throat> prior to getting into the meat of the matter, uh, which is that I've got more birthday stuff. Um, people are kind enough to send me these things from all over, and I can't have everyone in my living room and offer them a piece of cake, but I can open these things on camera so that I can share this event with them at least that way, uh, or and anyone else who cares to watch. Um, I know a lot of you are used to the fact that we often have lonelings in the background uh, during these unboxings, and we very much appreciate our loneling allies. Uh, that said, it is really solidly fall now. Uh, the temperature has dropped like 30 degrees over the past couple of weeks. We had a couple of huge rains, so uh, a lot of the lonelings are asleep. Uh, a lot of them are bundled up. Uh, a lot of them are appreciating the, the fact that we have shared our heating vent with them. Uh, and some of them are marching about patching all of the leaks that have shown up since last winter, and they are grumpy. So uh, if the Lonelies decide to join us, obviously we, we delight in their presence, and if not, uh, we understand that they've got stuff to do. So, uh, let's get to it. Uh, the first thing we have, uh, this looks like it is from Paul Fields, and... Oh, neat. Uh, and it is a Razor Crest. Uh, these are from the I think new uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron line, uh, Series 1. Uh, they have figures that are a little small for gaming figures, but not bad. And the models, they may not be officially exactly to scale with what these things are supposed to be in the Star Wars universe, but they are definitely big enough for you to go, hey, there's a starship, and uh, this is a personal transport-sized starship, and put it on the table, and everyone goes, oh yeah, that is a personal transport-sized starship, so... Oh, that's a grumpy loamling in the background, which we love our loamlings. Yes, we do. <clears throat> I was going to say even when they're grumpy, but the fact of the matter is to a certain extent, especially when they're grumpy. Uh, the molding on these is just great. Let me see if this is... Yeah, it looks like it's tied down, which is good for transport, you know. The microphone will pick up nothing but crinkling noises for the next five minutes. Almost there. Stay on target. Oh, really? That's, that's, there you go. That's insanely wedged in there. So. Here it is. Uh, if I had, let's see, I've got some regular figures here, but just for scale, right? If this is supposed to be something that just a few characters can hang out in, something along the lines of a, a personal helicopter size thing, uh, it's pretty well perfect for that. It's got landing gear, which is nice. I'm not sure how this landing gear comes open, but it clearly does. No, really, I promise, the landing gear comes open, folks. Well, I'll work. Oh, wait, maybe this is it. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, front gear, back little ramp. Uh, so, this is very, very cool. Uh, thank you very much. I think it looks like the top back opens as well. Uh, but watching me actually play with my toys is probably not the exciting part of this video. So, uh, this will absolutely uh, see use. Uh, I'm in a Starfinder game right at the moment, uh, as well as a superhero game. And I, I cannot imagine this will not be showing up in one or both of those. So, uh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, let me get the little, a little more quickly. Uh, I like that the figures come in their own separate little uh, plastic inset. It helps you not, you know, lose them. Or, uh, oh, our, our lonely wants to have the little inset. There we go. Okay, great. I think the Lomling has just noticed that there's a Grogu figure in there. So, yeah, that's that's definitely what's going on. All right, uh, so this box is from Edgar Rice Burroughs Incorporated, uh, which is Tarzana, California. Uh, this is technically not a birthday present. It just happens to have shown up shortly before my birthday. Uh, this is from uh, Christopher Carey. Uh, I have a little Grogu figure now. In, in the little armored case. So that's that's great. And the Lomlings are delighted, which is nice because they were grumpy. Uh, so uh, I got to know uh, Chris Carey uh, when we both worked at Paizo. Uh, we talked 
Pulp and Ed Grice Burroughs a fair amount. Um, Ed Grice Burroughs was probably, if not my first fandom, one of my first fandoms. And it was one of the very first uh, multiverses uh, in in speculative fiction, right? It, it turns out that Tarzan and Pellucidar and, and uh, Carson of Venus and, and John Carter of Mars are all in the same universe. Um, and... Uh, Chris has a new book that's coming out, and I mentioned that I was really looking forward to grabbing it, and he said he'd send me a care package, uh, and I want people to see all this cool stuff, uh, and I'm treating it as a birthday present, because, you know, Friday's my birthday, so let me get, get in there. I know that the actual what me working on boxes isn't the fun part, so we'll we'll try and speed this along. Alright, uh packing paper. Yeah. The Lomans do love their packing paper. Okay. Alright, so uh first uh there's this really cool uh Edgar Rice Burroughs Universe postcard, which they are specifically hitting uh, Tarzan, Jane Porter, John Carter, The Land That Time Forgot, uh, Victory Harbin, which is uh, going to be upcoming, and At the Earth's Core. Uh, and I like the art. Uh, there's more info in the back. Uh, they have... Postry? Uh, a postry, a poster, uh, which is, this is the new book that is coming along. And I am definitely going to be picking it up. Born in Pellucidar, mentored by Jason Gridley, trained to fight by Tarzan of the Apes. Uh, if you're an ERB geek like me, that, that gets you all excited, I promise. And then we have the actual books, which have been very carefully wrapped up, which I appreciate. Shipping, shipping is a bugaboo for for any, well, for anyone, especially with the pricing at the moment. But alrighty. So, uh, we have John Carter of Mars, Gods of the Forgotten, uh, by Geary Gravel. I am very excited about this. Uh, plus, an all new bonus novelette fe fe featuring uh, Victory Harbin. In the world of the Moon Maid, uh, again, this is this is high ERB geekery, and I am delighted by it. Uh, and then Tarzan: Battle for Pellucidar by Win Scott Eckert. Uh, I'm really excited about the the new waves of publishing that are coming out. And uh, as I said, it's it's full on fall, and when I've got a little spare time, I'm going to do some reading. So I'm delighted to have this. Okay, uh, I've got one more box, but it's a big box. Uh, this is uh, upside down. That's what this is. Uh, this is very specifically from John Heron. Uh, I, John, thank you very much. Uh, John is a gamer uh, who periodically asks me questions, less about rules content stuff and more about I don't know the the ethics and etiquette of gaming, but. He, uh, he is really dedicated to trying to create a inclusive, uh, friendly, safe environment. And I appreciate that. But he also apparently wants to send me an enormous box. By the way, if this has, like, a single hero click in it, it's going to be fun. I'm just saying. All right, we got a we box. We have a box. You all might know what this is. I don't. I haven't been able to see it yet. It's too up close. The box is in my face. And it is... Oh, good grief. It's Galactus the Devourer. Galactus the Devourer. <laughs> it's a hero click. So it is, in fact, a single hero click. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and declare that hysterical, even though, obviously... This is bigger than I was thinking when I was talking about that being a joke. Uh, I have always been a big fan of Galactus. Um, I, I'm not even sure I can explain why. Uh, maybe because he's, he's 
the very first comic book character I ran into who gets hangry. <laughs> oh, wow, this is a big box. Great zot, look at the size of this thing. So, there we go. Uh, he's sizey. And, alright, so, there was a box, and in that box there was a box, and in that box there's another box. Here's his Heroclix card, because you can, in fact, play him in Heroclix. Okay, and a spare head just fell out. Not a sentence I expected to say. Uh, it looks like we have a a Galactus Sans helmet shot. So, um, honestly, with those, <coughs> I I sort of want to put this on a set of spider legs and make it a a, a cyborg god for a, a Gamma World game, right? Just crawling along. All right, I'm gonna put that there for the moment. Oh, jeez, please. Uh, here's the headless Galactus, because the heads are kind of interchangeable. Here's the helmeted head, which I'll try to put on at the moment. Get this stuff out of the way. And this looks like it is a blast effect. Yes. All right, so there's, there's a little peg here on his hand. And you... That's snug. The blast effect goes in like that. So that that looks really great, actually. Now I'll see if I can get you some detail on the face, the helmet. Don't really want to focus that close. Um, and it also slots in right here. It looks like he's looking at whatever he's shooting at, which is fair enough. Uh, I, of course, immediately want to get a light rigged up in this. We'll, we'll see if I ever actually bother to do that. But it's it's a big old figure, and yes, there are hero click dials. So, uh, I have wanted a Galactus since... The, this isn't the, the first uh, hero clicks Galactus. There was another one that was you know, about the same scale years ago. Uh, I've still got the giant red dragon, the colossal red dragon from... Uh, Wizards of the Coast, and I used to have uh, an ad at and I really wanted a Galactus to go with them. Um, as it is, uh, now I've got, you know, uh, some about the scale uh, King Kong and Godzilla and Iron Giant, and I suspect Galactus is going to go hang out on top of that bookshelf with them. But the, the detailing is really nice. Um, it's got a lot of, of little intricate things around the neck and symbols on the chest uh, and the armor. Uh, some some piping work on the boots uh, and it it is well painted I am I am impressed I mean you know the legs are big old purple tights but there are like the spine armor I think is very very interesting so uh, John thank you very 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 much this is awesome uh, I will pop in the other head real quick just in case anyone is just dying to see what it looks like with that uh, Angrier, I think, is actually what I would say. He looks angrier. Uh, the, this is a face that needs Visine. That's that's all I'm saying. Okay, and that is the unboxing. Uh, I've gotten a bunch of great stuff. I, I really... Get, no one should ever feel like they need to get me birthday presents. I, I, I appreciate them. I love them. Uh, but well wishes are, are just as well appreciated. But for people that do, I want to be able to share this experience. And uh, my actual birthday is Friday. Uh, I'm going to get to play a game. And uh, instead of cake this year, I'm doing orange chocolate chip cookies uh, using what I believe to be a recreation of a modified recipe of my mother's, which my wife is going to be so kind to make. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and that's it for this time around. If I ever do put a light in the Galactus Blasts, I will, uh, I will show people that. So thank you for joining me. Uh, we're coming up on 15 minutes, which I think is plenty of time to watch me open presents. I hope everyone has a good week and uh, happy Halloween. Bye. The Lonelings say bye.